So one of my absolute favorite effects in Adobe After Effects is called Composition Border. And it's really simple. It has like three different parameters, but it's incredibly versatile and powerful. And today I'm gonna to show you how this works. So I have a map animation here, and let's say I wanna add like some final touches to it. One thing I wanna add is a nice border. I wanna frame it up and make it look nice. And then once I have that finished, I wanna export it to a couple of different social media platforms. This effect is perfect. So to open up the effects and presets panel, go to window effects and presets. And all you have to do is search for the word composition border and it's right here. So it's in presets, shapes, backgrounds, composition border. And just make sure you have no layers selected and simply double click on this. And it's gonna generate an entirely new uh, shape layer from scratch here called shape layer one. And if you look over here in, effect, uh, in the effect controls panel, you'll see, as I said, three different parameters. So composition border has border width in pixels. It has border offset, also in pixels, and it has the border color. So right now I can just start to crank up border width. And what's cool about this is it is an inner stroke. So this is showing you the exact pixel width, not like other strokes on paths where they expand from the center this will expand as an inner stroke. And you can see that as I start to crank up the offset here. So I crank up the offset, and now if I keep bumping up the width, you see it only expands inward. So that's super duper helpful. So let's go ahead and set this width, or the offset back to zero. And let's say we want the border width of like 100. So we have this border, it's looking a little bit better, it's pretty cool, but it's still pretty boring. I wanna make it look a little bit nicer, so I'm gonna add a couple more details. So we'll just call this a uh, white border. And what I can do is just duplicate this layer. And I'll call this black inner line maybe. And now with this one, I'll change it to this black color. And now I will actually change the width to five. And I'm gonna set the offset to 100 because I know that the width of this white border is already at 100, so if I set this to 100, that's gonna set this black line directly on top of it, which is gonna make it, you know, just make it look a little bit nicer. Let's bring the width down even further, maybe something like two or three. Okay, that's looking good. So now I've got this black inner line, making it look a little bit nicer. So let's duplicate it again, duplicate this layer. And now with this one, I can just hold the control key and start to pull this out ever so slightly and maybe even, I think we can maybe change the width of this one as well. So maybe let's leave this one at three and make the other one at two, just make it a little bit more dynamic. So there we go, like in no time, we've created a cool little border here. And what's so great about this is if you wanna add, like now we could go and grab the text tool, and if we wanna add our source, and you can just throw all your text right there in the margins. and. Um, it's much easier to control the design of the text if you have it against this solid background as compared to if you have it over the map, you have to design for any kind of like differences in the background color or contrast, which could be a bit of a headache. So I can also throw a map title up here if I want. I could throw a scale bar down here, and then I can even start to play with um, different elements that are overlapping the border or that are covered up by the border and, and make the composite a little bit more dynamic. But the real powerhouse feature of this particular tool is that it's dynamic to the size or the aspect ratio and resolution of the composition. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you go to composition, um, let's say we wanna make this a portrait or vertical so we can send it to TikTok or we can send it to Instagram Reels. So I'll go to composition settings and we just wanna flip this. So we're gonna to wanna to go preset and then down here we have social media portrait HD. So it's just gonna flip it 1080 by 1920 and watch what happens. So when I do this, the border stuck to the edges. So the border stayed. We lost our text. That's because our text is now way over here. So we have to manually come in here and move our text. So this is the real beauty and the cool thing about this particular effect is that it, um, it stays. And, and if you really wanna see this in action, um, I can go composition settings and I can start to manually crank this. You can see as I manually crank it, that border is just gonna stick right there. So it's in the expression. So I can turn this you know, to square if I want. And let's say I wanna add a texture over this border. That's super simple. I can come over here and just grab this like paper texture. 
and I can right click on it, transform. I'm gonna make sure that it fits to the size of the comp here. And then I can select the track mat and I can set it to the white border right here. And so now I've got this paper here, but I can turn the white border back on, put the white texture right over it, and then just do some kind of uh, overlay or some kind of blend mode, whether it's multiply or, or whatever we wanna do here. And now we've got this textured border. Super, super duper easy. So again, this is really, really powerful. Uh, just last week I was playing with this and I was able to create some tick marks with the graticules on both the Y and the X axis that actually dynamically moved with the animation, which I was really impressed with. And it took me no time at all to create it. So yeah, I suggest you go and you play around with this effect and uh, see what you can do with it. And if you wanna learn more about how to really make your map look good, I have a couple of other videos on this topic. I have one which I will link to down in the video description called, I think it's called Five Ways to Make Your Maps Look Good. I also have another video about uh, these animation presets because I actually created Composition Border a few years ago for Adobe. And I, in addition to this one, I created like eight other ones that are natively in After Effects. So I will link to that video down in the uh, video description as well. So if you wanna go check that out, it's awesome. And as always, if you want to learn more about map animations, check out my GeoLayers 3 Masterclass or head over to my Patreon page. All these links are down in the video description. See you in the next one.